Technological progress pioneered and advanced the Industrial Revolution, transforming cities, society, and the global economy to manufacturing. Factories, tools, and materials brought forth assembly lines, increasing demand for larger buildings, more space, and more equipment. Construction documentation of these early factories is often non-existent, making renovations, building rehab, and even upkeep and maintenance difficult for architects, contractors, and engineers. Attention to these warehouses, factories, and buildings has increased over the last decade, along with the necessity of accurate as-built documentation, showing the initial layout and any deviations from original design. The Packard Automotive Plant in Detroit, Michigan is a prime example of a historical manufacturing space left unused and undocumented. Once the pinnacle of America's prowess as an automotive manufacturer, this three and a half million square foot facility once housed over 80 buildings and produced over 1.6 million cars over its lifetime. Opening its doors in 1903, the space began with 10,000 square feet, with continuous construction throughout its 55 years of operation. It was also the first factory to use the con system of reinforced concrete, ensuring the factory was constructed to last. Keeping accurate records during constant construction, expansion, and maintaining those documents through the decades is a very challenging task for any organization. After the building's closure and abandonment, 3D laser scanning and 360-degree photo documentation would have been able to help identify elements that were near failure before life and property were endangered, such as the bridge collapse, if it had been scanned from the street and structurally evaluated annually. And while 3D reality capture and photo documentation wasn't around to help Packard 100 years ago, they can be used to help with renovation and retrofitting today. Companies and industries may come and go, so the future for a building, warehouse, or a space may change or evolve. And that's why Ferro laser scanners and reality capture software can quickly and easily document current conditions, as well as any ongoing changes at a factory or warehouse. Accurate digital twin models of buildings, including structure, in-wall, in-slab, above ceiling, equipment and finishings, all enable owners and architects to design updates and additions efficiently, saving time and money in the process. Laser scanning and digital twin technology reduce the amount of field labor required to measure and document. An ongoing commitment to renovation or rehabilitation ensures constant and continual information, ensuring a space is accurate and up-to-date for any future use. And for the Packard plant, this may come a little too late and its scans may now be used to preserve the memory and history of the once iconic space. Combined with Holobuilder 360-degree photo documentation, it's possible to capture an entire space in a matter of days and the scan data and 360-degree photos for the Packard plant can aid in the logistics and scheduling of the plant as it moves towards demolition. Digitally preserving these historic buildings allows the city to look to the future while remembering its past, to learn and grow from its mistakes and plan the next structure with the right data to last a lifetime.